Yes, I miss my family, but I'm so connected with them. You know, these days with you know technology is so easy. Yeah, I call them uh, on WhatsApp and you know, on uh, phone calls, and so it's it's just so easy to. I miss them. They're part of me. They're why I became a religious. I grew up in a very religious family. You know, prayer was part of the family. Service and involvement in the parish community. So I do miss them, but I'm so connected with them, and I know they pray for me, they love me, I love them dearly. So, yeah. but I feel a connection with them. I have, and I have a new family, my Benedictine brothers. That's my new family. You know, that everywhere I go, it's one big family. Do I miss my family? Yes, I definitely miss my family. Um, I left home for formation 20 years ago. It was a lot harder then. And then I got used to it being in a foreign mission and only getting home once a year for a couple of weeks. But it's something you never really get totally used to because thankfully God bonds us to our family and they're part of our lives. And so, yeah, I miss them. But the Lord finds a way to, first of all, give you that same depth of intimacy of relationships with the people you serve with alongside and the people you minister to. And also he's very gracious in giving me time to spend important time with my family and not lose that contact. It's not like they're gone. They're just not immediate. I do miss my family. It's, I think, certainly natural and normal to miss your family members and your friends. Um, but I feel like that sacrifice, once you give it to the Lord, again, it's normal to miss them, but I've certainly experienced the hundredfold of the Lord saying, if you give to me everything, if you follow me, I will give you houses and mothers and brothers and sisters. So even though I feel like I've given him this little thing, and I, I still at times get to see my family, I feel like he has certainly given a hundredfold and I feel so fulfilled in what he's returned. So yes, there's the sacrifice, but there is that fulfillment of everything that he does that's beyond my expectations. So. I do, I do, but I get to see them. So one of the benefits being itinerant is that they do, uh, the order does let us be from time to time. And throughout the seminary, we were allowed uh, Christmas vacation, so I got to see my folks at Christmas time. And even in the summers, when we travel, uh, from one assignment to the next is often time allotted. So uh, all the friars that I know, uh, they have the opportunity to visit their families. And before I entered the order, my job was already taking me all over the place. So I was accustomed to trying to fit in family just once a year. So one of the things I really love about diocesan priesthood is that I'm a priest of, in, in the place where I grew up. So I actually get to see my parents quite often. And I have a couple of sisters who live in the diocese and they have big families. So uh, it's been a great blessing in my life and a great blessing in my priesthood to uh, not only have the family that a parish provides for, for a parish priest, but I also have my own family, my parents, my sisters, and my nieces and nephews. Uh, so that's been a great blessing in my life uh, as a priest, and uh, as a son, as a brother, and an uncle. Do I miss my family? Yes, you know, and, and uh, but uh, you know, we, we get to stay in touch with our family. We get time to visit them each year, and they can come visit us. Uh, I have a, my, my from New Orleans, and. and uh, after Hurricane Katrina, my family evacuated to our community in Little Rock, our new bishop house, and they fell in love with the place. And so my oldest brother and his family just came to visit uh, this past summer to spend a couple of days in our monastery in Little Rock. And uh, I want to stay in touch with my phone and everything. Yes, so I'm from the Philippines originally. At the same time, that is something that I, I bring to God and still my family and also at the same time I am I FaceTime with them and I use all different kinds of uh, media uh, like Facebook and, and Skype uh, so that I can I can talk with them and allow them to see the heart things going with them. So that's ways for me to be in touch with my family in the Philippines.